morning, everybody. To uh, Dr. Fernando C. Sanchez, Chancellor of the University of the Philippines, Los Banos. Dr. Eduardo B. Torres, Dean of the College of Veterinary Medicine. And all other members of faculty present here today. Proud parents, friends, and family of the graduates. And most importantly, to the graduating class of 2016. Good morning. It is an honor to be speaking here to all of you today. Up until they called me up on stage, I still couldn't believe that I was asked to speak to this group of talented and driven doctors from the number one university in the Philippines. I want to say thank you for the great opportunity and also for keeping me awake for the last few weeks, practically preparing for this very important task. I'm not just saying that either, I really mean it. I can still remember what it felt like to be in the position that you guys are in right now. Only 12 short years ago, I was seated in a similar venue sad to be leaving college and all the friends that I made. But on the other hand, I was excited to go off and find my place in the real world, right? to get a job, to officially become an adult. Deep down though, I was also very nervous about what the future might hold for me. I was nervous because of the uncertainty that comes with change. And make no mistake about this, Transitioning from college into the professional world is one of the biggest changes that you will go through in your life. Let me circle back to this point later on. In the 11 years that I have been working, I have had the pleasure of working with many graduates from this very school. And they have been some of the most professional, uh, professional and knowledgeable people that I have come across in that time. It excites me to be in front of all of you today. And it, it excites me because I'm witnessing the graduation of some very driven and bright individuals who are the future of the veterinary medicine field. It excites me because I believe that you have the potential to influence and enact a lot of positive change in this country and in, in, in particular in the agricultural sector which is vital to the Philippine economy. I know this because in my time with Pimpico, the agribusiness subsidiary of the Avoitis Group, I have seen it firsthand. Guided by our vision to become the preferred partner for growth of our country's backyard livestock sector, I have seen people, very much like yourselves, take advantage of many opportunities to help backyard farmers become better at what they do each and every day. For those of you who were a part of the Pinico Junior Veterinary Medicine and Animal Science Congress about a year ago, this should not be new to you. In preparation for today, I listened to all sorts of commencement speeches from a variety of speakers. And the conclusion that I drew was, well, I'm not quite sure if I'm qualified to be dispensing advice to all of you. After all, I'm only 34 years old. And I have only just begun my own journey, both professionally and personally. There is still a lot that I need to accomplish and strive for in the years that I have ahead of me. So, I don't want to pretend that I already know everything that there is to know about life. I don't. But what I can do is talk to you about what has gotten me to where I am today. So along those lines, allow me to share with you three important lessons. Three words that I keep in my mind, in my day-to-day -day life, which have helped me through the years, and that may help you on your own journey. Those words are values, passion, and change. Let me start with values. It is important to have your own set of values and know exactly what those values mean to you. 
your values will become your moral compass. These values will guide you through, through the tough decisions that you have to make over time, whether, in, whether they're personal or professional. When you've decided on what those values are, I would encourage you to try and find a place to work that allows you to work according to those same principles. One of the hardest things to, that to have to do is to go into an office every day and do something that forces you to compromise your personal values, to compromise who you are. Along these same lines, never compromise your values just to conform with what people around you want you to do. Even if sometimes this means making sacrifices that seem quite large at the time. If it ever comes to the point where you feel like you are sacrificing something because you are not, or because because you are sticking to your values, don't worry, because in the long run it will prove to be worth it. In Pilmico, we are guided by the values of integrity, teamwork, innovation, and responsibility. In our company, we believe it is not enough for a team member to be results driven. Right? In fact, we believe it's more important that they must be a values driven leader. Our values influence every decision that we make. From the way we treat each and every one of our stakeholders, to important business decisions that will ultimately translate into long term growth over time. So to sum this up, know what your personal values are and don't compromise them for anyone. Next, I want to talk to you about passion. Passion, if you Google the word, is defined as a strong feeling of enthusiasm or excitement. When I say I want to talk about the word passion, I do so in order to encourage you to find out what you are passionate about. This is because true fulfillment in the corporate realm only comes from doing what it is that you are enthusiastic about. Waking up every morning to go to work is much easier when you wake up excited about what you have to do, when you love what it is you are doing. Steve Jobs, the visionary and Apple co-founder once said, your work is going to fill a large part of your life. And the only way to be truly satisfied is to do what you believe is great work. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do. I think this is important to know because these days there are a lot of other things, maybe we can call them distractions, that people think about when they, were, when they are looking for jobs, when they are looking for employment. Who will pay them the most? Where can I get promoted the fastest? Which is the most prestigious company that is making me an offer? Now, I'm not advising you against including these as part of the part of the criteria that you use to make your decisions. By all means, include them as part. I am advising you to ensure that these are not the only criteria that you consider when making a decision. So, what are you passionate about? Because it's highly likely that what you're passionate about will not translate into the most glamorous opportunity out there, at least not right away. It may lead to a job that will not be the highest paying one from a financial standpoint. But I assure you that getting a job you're passionate about will be the most intrinsically rewarding experience you will have. Earlier in my speech, I mentioned that I work with quite a few graduates from this very college. What I failed to mention was that I asked a few of them what they would say to the class of 2016 if given the opportunity. One of them, Dr. Serge Tan, who heads our poultry layer farm operation in Tarlac, said this. I would encourage them to give back to Inang Bayan. It may not be as cool as attending to an expensive furry canine or thoroughbred, but it will end up being more gratifying and rewarding knowing that one has contributed to the country. To end this portion, I thought that this quote by Confucius would sum it up best. He said, Choose a job you love, and you will never have to work a day in your life. It's definitely wise advice. Lastly, I wanted to talk to all of you about the word change. Nowadays, the word change 
has become a buzzword. You hear the word uttered by many different personalities all around the world and for vastly different reasons. The reason that I wanted to talk to you about it is because change is something that you cannot avoid as you take this next step in your life. Earlier, I mentioned that this step you are taking will be one of the biggest changes that you will ever encounter in your life. This is true. However, we live in a world where the word static has become outdated, where disruption of the status quo is the norm. So in fact, you might actually consider this the beginning of a life that will be filled with constant change. Most people try to resist change precisely because it disrupts the status quo. It takes us away from our comfort zones. It forces us to evolve. However, if you have any thoughts of being at the top of your chosen fields in the future, my advice to you would be this. Do not resist change. Embrace it. Make it part of your mission to stay open to the changes that occur around you. And if you can, I encourage you to be the ones that drive the change that occurs every minute of every day. Charles Darwin once said, it's not the strongest of the species that survives, nor is it the most intelligent, but the ones most responsive to change. The Philippines today is a country that is experiencing significant change all over the place. In fact, our president-elect was elected on a platform based on this simple concept. However, one man is not enough to make a difference. If we are really out to create significant, lasting change in this country, each and every one of us must be open to the challenge of driving change ourselves. As graduates of this prestigious college, you all have the potential to be agents of change to a very important sector of this country. However, our government can only do so much. It will need the support of those Filipinos with brilliant minds who stay on top of the latest trends in order to get to the level of being globally competitive. I am telling you this because this school has equipped you with the knowledge and the habits that you need to be agents of change. What you need to decide on is whether or not you will make how you will use what has been given to you to be agents of change as you move forward with your careers. Here is advice from two more graduates from this college. Dr. Dainty Faba, who has been with Pilmico for the last nine years, has this to say to all of you. Never stop learning from others. Desire to learn something useful in order to live, grow, and prosper. And Dr. Dennis Rosales, who has been with Pilmico for the last 18 years, has this to say. Pursue a life of continuous learning to achieve your dreams. Your DVM degree is just a foundation. The advice Dainty and Dennis have given you to never stop learning will be one of the keys to your abilities to influence those around you and drive change in the future. So heed it. My advice, as cliche as it may sound, is to keep yourselves evergreen and be the change that you want to see in life. Don't wait for it to happen. Be the spark. Be bold. And take the next step with courage and confidence. So, to the graduating class of 2016, you're days away from getting your diploma, days away from beginning the next chapter of your life, days away from making positive changes to our society and to our country. Armed with values, a passion for what you do, and an openness to influence change, I am confident that you will succeed in the careers that you settle into. I look at all of you and I see a bright future for the Philippines, especially for the agricultural sector. I am really happy to welcome you into the working world as peers, and hopefully I will have the pleasure of crossing paths with you all at some point down the road. Congratulations to all of you, 
and enjoy the next two or three days, right? Because you earned it. Thank you very much.